welcome to my new channel. So if you have found me, you probably have found me through Crochet Beginners Group or my other channel, Lexi Loves Stitching. Well, my other passion is reading. So I decided as Crochet Beginners Group now have a book club, I thought I would start a booktube channel. So welcome, my name's Alexandra. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd do this quick video for the very first video of Lexi Loves Books to show you what the Amazon man bought me today and which hopefully some of you are gonna read in our Crucial Beginners Group book club. So this is the first book. So I had got this book the other day, it's called The Four Agreements. This is more of like a self-help kind of book. Um, and I bought it because I do have like issues with self-belief. And apparently it's supposed to be really good about um, teaching you how to deal with negativity in your life and also how to, um, well, I'll, read, I'll just read the bit on the back. Sorry, I've got no makeup on today, it's Saturday, innit? In the four agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz reveals the source of self-limiting beliefs that rob us of joy and create needless suffering. So I just thought I would give it a go because yeah, my self-belief is like, although I come across as quite confident, I'm not a confident person at all. And I've got a maths exam on Monday, which I'm probably going to fail. So I thought I would give that a go. So this is just called The Four Agreements. I will leave all the links to these books down below. Now, the first fiction book is Midnight at the Bright Ideas Bookshop. I saw this and it just, people have raved about it. I read the reviews on Goodreads and on Amazon and they said it was really good. So it's highly recommended. It is by Matthew Sullivan. So I did get this off of Amazon. Amazon man bought this this morning. So it is about a girl who works in a bookstore um, and I think the owner, oh no sorry, it's somebody that hangs out at the bookstore, um, tragically commits suicide, hangs himself in the bookstore. It's all about the bookstore, I think. Sorry, I'm really just reading the book. I do kind of know what it's about. So yeah, she finds like secret hidden messages in the pages of his books and her world starts to unravel. So that is the first one. If you're into a thriller, this is a thriller. So the second one, now I've seen, I've meant to get this for months. It's called The Silent Companions and it's by Laura Purcell or Purcell, however you want to say it. And it's set in Victorian times. Now I am quite a bit of a history geek. Um, I do love, you know, like if you visit, not even necessarily visit, but there's quite a lot of, Bristol is like a really, really super old city and it's like Edwardian, Georgian, Victorian, even stuff back to the Saxon age in our lovely city of Bristol where I live. And I just always wonder, I think, God, I'd love to go back in time and see what it's like. So I study at Glenside which is a building owned by the University of the West of England, where I'm starting to be a mental health nurse. Glenside used to be an old Victorian asylum, and it just really fascinates me, just like the building, and I just wonder what it would be like in that time. So The Silent Companions is about a newly married, newly widowed lady who is pregnant, and her, um, she's sent to her late husband's crumbling estate. And it's all about the silent companions. So there's obviously spooky things going on in the house. So I would definitely recommend this one. Um, we have also put on the group, which I've read, but I've passed it on to somebody, um, Stephen and Owen King's Sleeping Beauties. The book is brilliant. If you're not really into horror, it's more thriller than horror. So those are kind of a few books if you're interested to get you on the path to our book club so thanks for watching um i will leave the link to the book club page and crochet beginners group page and my other channel in the description box below so yeah when i'm not crocheting i'm reading so happy reading everyone and i'll see you soon take care bye